Hello, everyone. I'd like to review isomorphisms, which we discussed in class, but it's a chance to see them again in a quicker fashion now that we've moved the class online. So the main idea of an isomorphism is that lots of groups appear to have the same structure, even though their elements have different names. And isomorphisms are the mathematical formalism that allows us to say that two groups have the same structure. We call that uh, two groups being isomorphic. We'll define isomorphisms not in this video, but I want to give you the main idea of, of, of what isomorphisms will be once we rigorously define them. Here we've listed four groups. They each have four elements, and they have quite different operations. So we have the integers mod 4, where the operation is addition mod 4, and here's the, the Cayley table for this group. Similarly, we have rotations of the square, so rotations by 0 degrees or 90 degrees or 180 degrees, 270 degrees. The operation here is composition. We have the group of units mod 10, so the set of all elements uh, 1 up through 9 that are relatively prime to 10. That, can, that includes 1, 3, 9, and 7. And the operation is multiplication mod 10. Finally, also here we have the units mod 5, the numbers up through 5 that are relatively prime to 5, that's all of them. 1, 2, 3, and 4. The operation is multiplication mod 5. You can confirm that these Cayley tables are correct for yourself. So for example, um, 2 plus 3 is equal to 5, which mod 4 is 1. If I rotate by 180 degrees and then by 270 degrees, I've rotated by a full circle around, plus 90 degrees more. If I multiply 9 by 7, um, I get 63, which mod 10 is equal to 3. And if I multiply 4 by 3, I get 12, which mod 5 is equal to 2. What do we notice about these Cayley tables? Well, they all seem to have the same structure. They have a black diagonal stripe, red diagonal stripe, a blue diagonal stripe, a green diagonal stripe, a black, and then a red, and then a blue. And we have that in all of these Cayley tables. So for example, here we have again a black, red, blue, green, black, red, and blue diagonal stripe. Even though the elements um, are parts of different groups and the operations are different, we see the same structure in their Cayley tables or multiplication tables. So when we do rigorously define isomorphisms, it's clear what some of the possible isomorphisms will be. For example, an isomorphism between Z4 and this group of rotations in the square, one such isomorphism is just sending the black element to the black element, the red to the red, the blue to the blue, and the green to the green. Notice that we had to order the elements of U5 and U10 in maybe a non-standard way for the Cayley table to exhibit this diagonal structure. If I had ordered these elements as 1, 2, 3, 4, or if I had ordered the elements of U10 as 1, 3, 7, 9, we wouldn't see the diagonal structure of the rainbow colors. Okay, so these above groups are, are all isomorphic to each other, even though we haven't yet defined what an isomorphism is. And the most common name for this collection of groups is Z mod 4, the cyclic group of order 4. So if you find a group that has this structure, you'll say, ah, this group is the same as Z mod 4. This is our canonical name for all groups isomorphic to these. Let me give you another example of different groups. They're all isomorphic to each other. None of them are isomorphic to Z mod 4 that we saw on the prior page. So these groups are U8, the group of units mod 8, U12, the group of units mod 12. Um, here on the bottom left, we have a subgroup of the symmetric group on four elements. The only elements in the subgroup are the identity and then pairs of transpositions. Finally, on the bottom right, we have a group that you haven't seen before. It's called Z2 cross Z2. Its elements are all ordered pairs of length 2 of zeros and 1s. So the four elements of this group are 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, and 1, 1. 
The operation here is component-wise addition modulo 2. So when I want to add 0, 1 to 1, 1, I add the first coordinates. So I add 0 to 1 to get 1 right here. And then I add 1 to 1 in the second coordinates to get 2. But mod 2, that's 0. So I add 1 and 1 in the second coordinate to get 2 or 0. Uh, another example would be, what is 1, 1 plus 1, 1? Well, it's 2, 2, but then mod 2, that's the same as 0, 0. So you'll notice that these four groups have the same structure in their Cayley tables. All of them have a black and red checkerboard on the top left and on the bottom right, and then a green and blue checkerboard on the bottom left and top right. So once again, all four of these groups have a black and red checkerboard on the top left and bottom right, and a green and blue checkerboard on the bottom left and top right. So I call this the checkerboard pattern. This will come up again in, the, in a moment. Notice that the black and red checkerboards both have black on the diagonal. On this, on this main diagonal going from um, um, top left to, to bottom right. Okay, so these groups are again all isomorphic to each other. None of them are isomorphic to the groups that we saw above. And the most common name for this collection of groups is actually Z2 cross Z2 uh, or the Klein 4 group. So if you're a mathematician and you find a group that has this structure, you'll say, aha, this group is isomorphic to Z2 cross Z2, the Klein 4 group. It turns out that every group with four elements is isomorphic to one of those classes that we've seen already, either Z4 or Z2 cross Z2. So let's take a new group of size 4 and try to figure out which class it belongs to. So let's take this group whose elements are 1, negative 1, i, and negative i. Here i is the square root of negative 1, so i squared is negative 1. And our operation is multiplication of these complex numbers. So which, which group is it isomorphic to? Z4 or Z2 cross Z2? Well, let's draw out the multiplication table. 1, negative 1, i, negative i. 1, negative 1, i, negative i. When we multiply it out and color code the elements, at first it looks like we have this checkerboard pattern. Black and red, blue and green, blue and green, black and red. So your first guess might be, ah, this is isomorphic to Z2 cross Z2. But it's not. Remember I pointed out in Z2 cross Z2, we had black on the main diagonal and again black on the main diagonal. We don't have that here. Here we have black on the main diagonal and then red on the main diagonal, whereas in Z2 cross Z2, we had black on the main diagonal in both subsquares. So we haven't yet figured out wh which group this is isomorphic to. I sort of know the answer ahead of time, so I'm going to reorder the elements. I'm going to reorder my elements as 1, i, negative 1, and negative i. And then when you draw the multiplication table and color code the elements, you get these uh, striped diagonal colors. Black, red, blue, green, black, red, blue. And at this point, we can say, aha, that was the same structure we saw in the group Z mod 4. So this group is indeed isomorphic to Z mod 4. It's not isomorphic to Z2 cross Z2. How did I find how to reorder the elements to see this isomorphism with Z mod 4? Well, you don't know that yet, but we'll, we'll get more practice with it as we go. In general, that's a very hard problem. Identifying whether two groups are isomorphic or not, in general, I believe, is an NP-hard problem, meaning very hard. Here, what's going on is I happen to know that this group 1, negative I, 1, I, negative I, is a cyclic group. It's a cyclic group um, of order 4. It's generated by i. So when I look at, at the subgroup generated by i, I have i, and then i squared, which is negative 1, i cubed, which is negative i, and then i to the fourth power, which is 1. 
and that's why the cyclic subgroup generated by I gives me back the entire group. All of the groups we previously saw, isomorphic to Z mod 4, were also cyclic groups. So Z mod 4Z is generated by 1, right, because 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3, 1 plus 1 plus 1 is plus 1 is 4, which is 0 mod 4. This group of rotations is generated by a 90 degree rotate, rotation. Um, the group of units mod 10 happens to be generated by 3, and the group of units mod 5 happens to be generated by 2. So Z mod 4Z is cyclic, and any group isomorphic to Z mod 4Z, such as this one here, is also cyclic. By contrast, the Klein 4 group Z2 cross Z2 and any group isomorphic to it um, is not cyclic. It cannot be generated by a single element. Okay, at the very end we went into some of the details that we'll get more practice with later, but to recap the main point of this mini lecture, um, isomorphisms are a way to say that two groups have the same structure. You can see by the color-coded multiplication tables here that these four groups do have the same structure. And you can see by the color-coded multiplication tables that these four groups have a multiplication structure, so they're all isomorphic, but of a different isomorphism type than the first collection of four groups we saw. And in the next mini-lecture, we'll define isomorphisms rigorously so we get, can get practice with the definition. Thanks.